Welcome to Laura Kane After Dark. This is our very special holiday episode, as you can see by our festive outfits. Howdy ho! Thank you, Maggie, for these outfits. She's like, you have Thank to you, wear Maggie. these on your Christmas show to be festive. And actually, I'm very comfortable. How about you? I'm very comfortable. We are both in onesies. And we are. Eric is very sick, but you're feeling better. Much better. He called me, was it Sunday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was Sunday. Uh -huh. And he is like, oh, you sounded so bad. He, he couldn't even talk without coughing. And you were like, I will tell the story so you don't have to talk as much. Thank you. He said, I've been in bed for four days straight, laid up, coughing. I can't even say any words without coughing. And finally, I called my doctor. My doctor gave me some good stuff like the cough medicine with codeine, but some other thing. Yeah. And so he started to make a turnaround and uh, yeah. Oh, oh look okay. at the camera oh, when you're okay. talking, not me. <laughs> I know. But it's your new haircut. No, the problem is that normally I'm right behind the camera. I know, right. it's true. We kind of, here's, I'm, here's I'm looking at the screen. I'm like, where the heck is she looking at? I know, I look okay. Up, I'm like, oh, she's looking at me. At, there's Instagram there. There's YouTube there. Now, here's the thing. We've kind of configured the studio a little differently because Eric and myself, actually, we're doing, and Brian, we're doing a gift exchange tonight. And Eric and I are doing, we've, we've, We've decided that this Christmas, we're not really going to get each other something real. We were going to try to find the most hideous things we could possibly find for each other on Timu, and that was going to be our gift exchange. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you know that both of us found like 10 different things? Get buckle up. Okay. And he claims that a lot of them, or I feel like a lot of them are cl clothing related, so we set up a camera looking in a different direction. So when we do open the gifts and he makes me try them on or I may or I make him try them on, you never know. I you may have gotten know. you something crazy to wear too. Yeah. Among other things. Yeah. I can't even wait. I can't either. Uh, we have a camera pointing over to this other section. So you guys are going to get to see it. So that's why we're kind of like, Anyway, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. And you're and the sexiest Mrs. Claus I've ever seen. Is this what Mrs. Claus wears, or am I an elf? I think I'm more of an elf. Are you? Kind of yeah. like if Mr. Mrs. Claus became a hooker. I, what makes me hookerish? My hair, you're my lipstick. A, you're wearing like a fishnet top under. I know, neck. but it's shiny. See, can you see the it shine? It really is. I don't know. I'm trying to be festive. The you, you're have very festive. Times. Thank you. Very oh cute. my God! Before we get to talk about our fabulous sponsors let me just show you what has been added to the magical oh, holiday box my god the magical holiday box is something that we are auctioning off each time each entry is five dollars and the money raised goes to the dollhouse sober living home where the girls need just basic items and they also need you know things to do outings field trips and we're gonna fund some of that gonna, and I'm you gonna, guys I'm gonna, what are you doing ready oh my god oh. let me just say I'm thank you ever straighter so much to those of you who have already donated money some people have donated a hundred dollars that means their name goes in 20 times and so we're gonna pick the name on thursday the winner we're gonna put every name each time into a box Look what we've added to the magical. It's over $1,200 now. This box is worth. Now, here's number one. Crack Tacos, $50 gift card. The best tacos you're ever going to eat oh, yeah. in your life. It's right near where Chili's is, near San Diego State. All right. Off the eight and Mission Gorge. This particular prize is something i would love to win because lash extensions by this woman who's been doing them since 2014 she does excellent work and that this is worth over 200 dollars if you want the mega volume lashes but you can choose if you want classic or mega volume you get those two worth over 200 dollars then we have brand new laura kane after dark merch this is a super soft sweatshirt it's is that black or dark blue? I know we have a dark blue one wow. too. It's extra large. Everybody loves a large hoodie, right? 
Then we have a doll face club hoodie as well, handmade by Clea, who was on the show. We love her so much. Then we have the fabulous stuff from San Diego Crystals and Jewelry, one of them being this really pretty necklace, which is a um, tiger's eye heart. And then the box, which is handmade. It's wood, it's carved, and inside there are crystals, there's jewelry. It's just full. It, that thing is worth $150 alone then i have something really random to show you at the very end too um we have one of these cool things from uh, a lanyard from the dollface club 200 oh 500 dollars 620 dollar value at la jolla cosmetic because you get a year's worth of uh membership at glam fam which is worth 120 dollars plus 500 dollar gift card to use any way you want it at la jolla cosmetic surgery center med spa Jay Wurzler said, how would you like me to get you the money? Do you want it in a gift card or cash? And I'm like, you know what? Cash is always the best. So you get $200 cash. And then randomly, do you guys watch um, Southern Charm on Bravo? Do I look like I watch Southern Charm? Have you Bravo? heard of Southern Charm on Bravo? Do I look like I've heard? Of no, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> There is a guy on the show who started his own business. He started his own sewing business. His name is Craig Conover. He's oh, yeah. one of the um, one of the cast members. Anyway, he sent us a handmade pillow. Oh wow! Which is worth fifty dollars because it's the ultimate plush model. This is it comes with his little card and everything, which fell out obviously. This is from Bravo's. Oh, it's right there. Craig Conover, it's just a, it's a really plushy little, and if you have a person in your life who's a firefighter, or if you have a Dalmatian, cool, 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 yeah, donated by Bravo. That's so, really cool. Yeah. So this box. Thank you, Bravo. Is really, oh, there you go. Something special. So if you would be so kind as to donate whatever you can, $5 is the minimum, and that gets you one entry into um, the, another box that we're going to put names into and then we're going to pick the name on Thursday and we'll let you know if you want and good luck and thank you already if you've donated thank you we are looking at over already $700 or close to $800 oh yeah yeah so I really would love to hand them a check for as much as that box is worth yeah because that the girls would be so stoked oh my god so incredibly stoked so there is the magical holiday box. Oh my God, I can't even wait till you guys. Oh, we have so many presents to open. Do you even realize this? I know. Okay, but first, we need to thank the sponsors that have stuck with us through thick and thin. And that one, for sure, without a doubt, is Jay Wardsler. Jay. Capital Growth Inc. All I'll year long. I'll see you on Friday. Yeah. <gasps> Yay. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, he is such a good person. He's awesome. And he, every time I ask him, like, hey, would you like to donate something or can you help? He's always willing to help. Here's more about Capital Growth Inc. and managing your money. One quick second, keep talking. Okay. Anyway, um, so, okay. Before we oh, get to I just want to say one quick thing. Okay. I just want to thank everybody that DM'd me and messaged me and everything um, after I told the story about my mom. Very, very sweet of you guys. Like what so kind you. of, what kind of. Just um, really, really nice things that people were saying. So I really appreciate it. People that could relate to what yeah. you were saying. Yeah. That is exactly what we wanted to happen. Super, super sweet. And so of thank course, you so much. Eric is the darling of the podcast as usual because everybody, all the messages I got were, oh my God, Eric is amazing that he came through for Brian. He did that for Brian. The Keanu thing was so incredible. Eric is the best. He is the best. Would you like to call me a delight now or later? You are always a delight. I get a little jealous because everybody likes you better than they like me. But you know what? That's okay. And I understand. 
because you are very likable and that was like the coolest thing that's well, ever. Well, you're, you're One the, the whip cracker, so. I know, I'm bossy. I have to, I have to keep, you know, things yeah. in line here. So sometimes it comes across as not so nice, but uh, I just really want to thank all of you guys for sticking with us all year thank long. Thank you guys everything. so much. We love you. Um, so do we have Jay Wurzler's Capital Growth Inc. ad or no, Brian? Are you ready to take control of your financial future? Look no further than Jay Wurzler, your trusted and our favorite certified financial planner. Life is full of financial decisions, and with 30-plus years of experience and a dedication to your financial well-being, Jay is your partner in achieving your financial goals. So if you're at or near retirement and you want to know if you have sufficient assets and income sources for a comfortable retirement, or if you are simply changing jobs and you're unsure about what your options are with your current retirement plan, please reach out to Jay. Jay Wurzler and the team at Capital Growth go the extra mile to ensure your financial success. Their office is a one-stop shop for financial advising, estate planning, tax preparation, and divorce analysis. Call Jay today at 858-552-6960 or email him at jayw at capitalgrowthinc.com. You know who always steps up to help us out, who always is willing to help, who always does an incredible job, La Jolla Cosmetic oh Surgery my God. Center. Hi, Dr. Riedler. Hi, Monique. I love those Hi, people. Hi, Dr. Swiston. More than, Dr. Swiston gave me these. Thank you, Dr. Swiston. Dr. Salazar was really Hi, Dr. great. Salazar. Um, All okay. the girls in the office. Oh my God. Anyway. That helped well, me with my skincare regime. Which is looking on Leak right now. Thank you. Brian just rolled his eyes at that. No, I was actually going to say his skin does look really good. Doesn't it? I did roll my eyes when you talked about your boobs, though. Thank you. Uh, here's more about La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center and Med Spa. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center is the place to go if you're looking to rejuvenate your appearance, tighten and shape your body, and just do something special for yourself. You deserve to look your very best. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center offers over 90 procedures and treatments for a natural, youthful appearance. They are absolutely the best in the business. Try out their treatment planner at glamfam.com. It's so easy and amazing to use. We can't say enough great things about their board-certified plastic surgeons, and guess what? They offer flexible payment plans so you can start your journey to a better you right now free consultations too the very best in the business is in our own backyard how lucky are we make sure you tell them that laura kane after dark sent you we love everything about la jolla cosmetic surgery center go to glamfam.com and the newest sponsor to join us is san diego crystals and jewelry Evan and I are going to go visit the OB store on Newport tomorrow because I have a gift to buy somebody who lives in this home, and I'm very excited to buy her something. You shouldn't have, Laura. Not you. (laughs) They have everything at San Diego Crystals and Jewelry, and the guys there, they're eight brothers. They are the nicest people. They are great. If you say, when you walk in there to their store in OB or their store in La Jolla, which is on Prospect, that's the new one. Right across from Drake's. And you say, Drake's, Dukes. Dukes. Sorry. <laughs> Same difference. It's okay. He's sick. Um, if you say, Laura Kane After Dark sent me, they will give you a free amethyst crystal and not a teeny one like a substantial one they're very 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 kind and they will work with you if you have jewelry you need fixed you want something special made you have a design in particular that you maybe want uh, them to create they can do all of that stuff they are phenomenal la jolla ob go see them get your christmas gifts at san diego crystals and jewelry we love you guys thanks guys okay so now I've been really excited to talk about this host chat, and finally, I'm allowed to. Oh, I was wondering, actually. Okay. I didn't trip on anything today. Huh? I didn't trip uh, on anything today. I That went right over my head. Never mind. Continue. What? Tell no, me. No, 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 explain it to tell me. Tell your thing first. Okay. I th- Okay, remember when I had the concussion? That was like... What month are we? We are in December. So that was like um, maybe May, maybe even April. I think it was April. Okay. I had, I just got 
the slash in my head because I fell against the shower while I was getting up from going pee and it was embarrassing, blah, blah, blah. Huge thing. Got a bad concussion. Don't remember a week of my life. Well, this the day after, I was filming a show for TLC with Kim Bali from 90 Day Fiance. It's called 90 Day Diaries and it follows cast members, what they're doing now. So we had this whole setup where we went, me, Jody, and Kimberly went to Manhattan, La Jolla, and we had like three different cameras set up and producers talking to us. And uh, they'd pull like one of us aside and say, well, you know, do you have any advice for Kimberly about her relationship? Or um, how do you know Kimberly? Okay, I got to tell you, I don't remember one <laughs> I, one thing. Can you imagine how she is? She's like, uh, make sure. Uh, I have no idea what, what I said. Saying? Oh my God. But I do have some feedback. Apparently, like I haven't been able to talk about this because it. I was going to say, I didn't know about this. No, because it airs. I didn't know about it. Wow. Now we can talk about it because they're teasing it on TV. It's going to be on our episode January 8th, which is a Monday night. That's my birthday. I know. Oh, wow. and not that important this year, Eric. <laughs> I know. Sorry, gonna miss it. Gonna miss it. Gotta watch it with Kimberly and Jody. You want to come? You want you want to celebrate your birthday with us? Oh no, you celebrating have, you Laura have, and Kimberly. <laughs> no, he has other plans, I'm sure. But um, so uh, the producers apparently told Kimberly that what she filmed that night was their favorite thing they've seen. No now, way. This could mean one of two things. There's drama that Laura does not remember. It could mean I something was said that oh, created God. some kind of uh, that's going to make viewers go what? Or maybe I, did I fall? Did I? What did I do? What she did I do? She probably sat and just stared at the camera, didn't say anything. <laughs> I know. Laura's about to find out that like everyone actually hates her, and all like the side panel oh interviews. Oh my god! Are talking to her. Well, Tad, who we had in here, was there playing the piano at Manhattan. He came over and he talked to us for a little while, so I do remember that a little bit. And then we were just talking about dating, and then like, oh, she was so mad about her relationship and what she's going to do now and and uh we were just having a really good time and now i get to see what the heck and i mean even in the little trailer there's a little part where we're sitting at one of the tables having dinner and we're toasting cheers and th it's a really quick thing but um it's probably just like some awkward thing where like kimberly's talking about her relationship and you're and you just like like blurt in you're like i haven't been with a man in months <laughs> I oh know. my god it's no. so funny oh my god oh by the way hi jackie if you're watching what hi, did jackie. i say was it like super scripted not were they one, like don't say that no not even a little bit interesting the way the diaries are filmed there's not actually a producer present they're actually on um, like a phone but they are directing you and then we had to set up the the cameras ourselves like to get all the angles and then uh the producer was in her ear telling her like, okay, we'll move over here, do this, do that. But January 8th, TLC, 90 Day Diaries. Oh yeah, I'm going to be on the show. Thank you very much. Or not. <laughs> this could either like You could wind up on great. the cutting room floor. <laughs> I know, totally. Oh God. That could happen or who knows, but how exciting, right? I'm so excited. I know, I finally get to talk about it. So, um... January 8th. There you go. Eric's birthday. Oh my God. And that's a podcast night too. So, well, you don't want to do the podcast on your birthday, do you? Hell no. All right. We'll have to do a Tuesday podcast. Oh, sorry. We're not fun enough for you. Here's well, the next couple of weeks. This is what, let me give the schedule. Okay. Because Eric's, it's not Eric's fault. This is just what, how it's ironing out. We are taking next week off, like, pretty much everybody else in the world between Christmas and New Year's. New Year's Day falls on a Monday. So I was all game to do the podcast New Year's Day. What do you do on New Year's Day? Nothing at night. Well, apparently somebody does. 
So we're going to do it on the second, which is a Tuesday. So the next couple of weeks, we're going to do our lives on Tuesdays. So Tuesday the second, and then Tuesday the ninth. Okay. Oh. And then on Tuesday the ninth, January, we have Monique from La Jolla Cosmetic coming in. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Wait, real quick. What? I found the the clip of the trailer that Laura's in. No. I almost way. said to you to play, but I'm like, it's so short. Here's that the funny part: is that they're all laughing, and Laura is just sitting there staring like. No way. I have no, I know it's not, it's going to be so bad. Yeah. Oh, I want to see it at the break. Kimberly is great. Like she, and then there's another part where Kimberly is in a whole different oh scenario. Oh my God, this yeah, is going to be there's so like, there's good. Two, there's two clips and one is like them all cheering and then, or like, you know, doing cheers. And then one is like Jody and Kimberly laughing and Laura's just sitting there like, <laughs> oh no my God, this is going to be the best thing ever. I thought I had the best time ever. I guess not. I guess I was just a zombie. Oh, <laughs> you're like smiling. Like you're waiting for them to say something and they're all laughing. Oh, this is going to be the best this is gonna be, gonna be such so good. terrible well they're gonna look great but oh boy i'm God. gonna look like horrible just when you think you're hot shit all right you get a concussion oh my god i don't remember a thing not a thing which this is gonna be great. my mom is gonna be thrilled because she loves 90 day fiance. oh my god and this is like so exciting for us but anyway so that's my host chat i think your host chat should be about what like everybody's kind of going through right now well there, everybody there are two people in my home that are going through it what the <sighs> heck is happening what is this well thursday i i've had this dry cough forever forever and i've been to the doctor i've had chest x-rays i've had everything done just because of with my mom and what i found out Lately, I wanted to make sure that I was okay. And so everything was fine, knock on wood. Um, but I've had this just this dry cough that I couldn't get rid of. So on Wednesday night, I think it was, I decided to take Mucinex. Okay. Even though my cough was just dry. Mucinex, isn't it that for like when you're snotty? Yes. So okay. all of a sudden my cough got really, really bad, like super deep. I couldn't sleep Thursday night. I was up and down and not sleeping. And then Friday, um, I went to a cooking class and I could barely make it through it. I was just... Isn't that crazy how when you get sick, it just all of a sudden, you're not that sick and then you're sick. Well, yeah. And then it happened it was, so quick. It was fine. You know, like I was just like, oh, I, I was just like, I just want to go home and go to bed. So then Saturday morning, I was still coughing and I went to work and I turned right back around and left and went home and spent the next four days in bed wow well g i'm glad i'm sure your co-workers were glad that you went yeah. when you were coughing yeah i haven't heard you cough once no i called my doctor yesterday and i was like look i don't want to come in i just need something to get rid of this cough and it was i didn't have a fever i didn't have covid i didn't have any of that um I, it was just the congestion and the post nasal drip was making me just cough even more. So for three days I hadn't slept. Mm. And so he sent a little menagerie of good stuff over <laughs> and God, are you out yeah. of it right now? Like, no, no. Uh -uh. Surprised. What'd they give you? Uh, they gave me, um, I forget what the name of the cough syrup is, but it's talk about a suppressant. It, is it, is it the one with codeine in it? Yes. Because you, when you actually need codeine or cough syrup with codeine, it, it doesn't make you, it just helps you feel yeah. better. Oh, it yeah. can. Codeine also stays in your system for like 48 hours too. It, well, dep it depends on the dosage, but I mean, that's codeine's what they make lean out of. Codeine I know, but can, but that's when you're, if you're not sick and you take it, then you feel the effects more, yeah. I would think, of the codeine. I don't think so. I don't know. But anyway, well, I'm, I'm glad it worked. Yeah. Yes, it totally did. We got to have our show. 
I know. Yeah, I leave Thursday too. So if you missed it, I was. Oh my God. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's You're right. You do. Yeah. Oh, are you so, so happy? Yeah, but don't get me sick. No, I go. no hugging. No, no I'm hugging. Fine. Okay. Totally fine now. He's, he's sucking on ginger ale and he's like. Well, because it helps. I'm, I'm otherwise, I get super hoarse. No, I'm totally fine. All right. So we have quite the gift exchanged. Um, oh, yes, we do. We've been looking so forward to this. Eric and I especially, because we decided to get each other the worst possible things we could find on our favorite site, Timu. And boy, oh boy. I are, have you are you in for it? So we've kind of set up the camera in a, in a we're going to see how this works out. But first, do you have some double D news? I do very quickly. Okay, while you do that, I'll move the box out of the way and move the camera so we can get like uh, situated. But I'll be listening, okay? You better be. I will. I'll be engaging. Don't worry. <laughs> Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny have split. Oh. Can, can I hear? Can I hear crickets, please? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Literally, who cares? Because I don't care. Celine Dion's sister claims the singer has lost control of her muscles in stiff person syndrome battle. That okay. Sucks. I know. Demi Lovato is engaged to Jordan Lutz after one year of dating. Okay. Who's that? You know who Demi Lovato is? I know Demi Lovato. Jordan Lutz, I think, is a singer. I don't know. Songwriter. Um, Demi Lovato is weird. This is very sad news. Matthew Perry had levels of ketamine used for anesthesia. I So I guess he was on it for depression. I didn't even know you could be on ketamine. I thought ketamine was like a party drug. Uh, both. Have, but on. Okay, I need to, like... There is a whole... Uh, there's a whole... A way of helping you with anxiety and depression that has to do with ketamine and and it's like the dosage amount yeah it's a, it's supposed to be like a new way to to deal with depression and anxiety right. in a very um uh, what is it closely monitored way yeah so maybe he was doing that maybe he well, wasn't just taking it for no and that's what they were saying is that he hadn't taken it his last dosage was like his therapist was weaning him off of it mm -hmm. because he was doing really well. And so what happened is they think he might've just taken a little bit too much mm -hmm. and sitting in the hot tub accelerated it crap, and put him to sleep. And he, that's Had he not gone in the hot tub, they, they think he would have been fine. If you were to take ketamine as a party drug, is that, does it make you feel Brian, do you know this? Is it is it make you feel drunk? Does Pretty it sure it's a depressant. So is it just I like remember, a high thing? I will never forget working when I worked um, for Warehouse up in Hillcrest. It's not there anymore, but um, it was over Gay Pride, and there was. I remember we were out on the balcony. Um, we were all working, but we were like throwing things at people, and a. Uh, guy was crossing the street and I guess he was on ketamine and dr passed out and got hit by a car. I'll never forget that. Dude, so like yeah. that knocks you yeah. out. Then. So it's a disassociative anesthetic. So it's, uh, it's a depressant, but it's also hallucinogenic in the right doses. Yeah. So they really? don't think it was an overdose or anything like that. They just think that he took it and sitting in the hot tub mm. accelerated it. So, um, uh, okay. So the most anticipated movies of 2024, there's only two that I care about. The rest I couldn't care less about. Deadpool 3. Hell yeah. Beetlejuice 2. Yeah. Maybe. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Maybe. No. Dune Part 2. Yep. Mm. Venom 3. No. Despicable no. Me 4. No. Inside Out 2. No. no. Lord of the Wings. Rings. The no. War of... No. What? It's an animated prequel. Oh. Gladiator 2 Ooh, yeah. and oh, A Quiet maybe. Place Day 1. I'm all in for that one. Guys. I love the Quiet Place movies. Wonka. No. No. Yes. No interest. No. What? I'm not a big fan of Willy Wonka in general, but like I really couldn't. Uh, Timothy Chalamet and like a weird musical thing. Uh, no I interest. I love that dude. That's my favorite movie. And apparently I saw him on uh, Jimmy Fallon. Wait, did you see Wonka yet? No. 
Oh, okay. So but you seen it. I saw Jimmy Fallon interview Timothy Chalamet, and Jimmy Fallon was going crazy. He's like, "This was it was joyous. It was awesome. They it was like always the, it do. Was, they have it, to yeah. do that." But he, I mean, I feel like he really meant it. And Timothy Chalamet was like, "This was the most fun, um, like exciting, um, insp- inspiring movie I've ever made." Like, I really want to see it. We see it with it's, it's, it's getting good reviews, but I still don't care. I don't care either. You're yeah. not going to see it with me? Who's going to see it in the, at the lot with me? No one. No. So the most anticipated new performances of 2024, there's only one that I even care to see. Um, Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn and Joker Folle Adu. That's a musical. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm tentatively curious. I, I love Lady Gaga, but I couldn't care less. I hated the Joker. I love hated it. I loved that movie. Well, Jenna King. Ortega in Beetlejuice too. Ooh, that's mm-hmm. a good cast. Now this one I do want to see. Ariana Grande as Glinda in Wicked Part One. Oh, couldn't care. Yeah. Chris Pratt is the voice of Garfield. Garfield. Couldn't care less. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. Gag. Pedro Pascal in Gladiator <gasps> Two. Ooh. Ooh. He was good in Game of Thrones as a yeah true as a homosexual. Stocky, handsome fighter. Yeah. Taylor Swift has the first billion dollar tour of all time. Are we at Boo. all surprised? Her tour so far has made <laughs> $1.04 billion. Beyonce comes in at second with $579.8 million. That's wow. a lot less. Bruce yeah. Springsteen and the E Street Band, $379.5 million. Coldplay, $325.5 million. One. Harry Styles, $290.5 million. Morgan Wallen, $284.8 million. Ed Sheeran, two hundred sixty-eight million. Pink, two hundred thirty-one point seven million. The Weeknd, two hundred twenty-one million, and Drake, one hundred eighty-four point nine million. I, I just read somewhere higher. that Madonna's tour is just kicking ass too. Aren't you gonna go see that? Yeah, in L.A. Oh yeah, that's right. There, you have- there are people that saw the Taylor Swift tour like multiple nights. Oh yeah, though. that's crazy. And I know people that have seen that movie like ten times. Who cares? The, the show and the and she's yeah. adding more tour dates as we speak. God. You know what? Good, good for her. It's a great. She's a billion she is dollars. Incredible. That's insane. I know. My God, she now earned I, it. I never thought that Dakota Johnson and I had anything in common. Do you know who that? You know Dakota Johnson, right? Daughter uh, of Melanie Griffith. Is she the one? Daughter in 50 of Shades John. Of yeah, yeah. Don't care for her at all. She's the terrible actress. For yeah, I anyways. never thought that we would have anything in common, but it turns out we do. Really? Yes, we need at least 10 hours of sleep a night is that okay. what she says she needs 10 yeah. hours of sleep that makes yes. sense she could easily go 14 hours i haven't seen her give a good performance in the movie yet not to hate but i did like her in um what was it that i just recently saw her in anyway Can you imagine the luxury of being able to sleep for 10 hours a day <sighs> no i don't or 14 that's what you you can do that when you make the big money for yeah. starring in the movie where you get banged for two hours so God. well i'd want to sleep for 14 hours if i was banged for eight hours a day 50 shades <laughs> of money that's what that's yeah what should have been called. 50 shades of money shots yeah. <laughs> okay now how do you suggest we do this all the gifts are over here now i think producer brian should go first i want okay. you guys to open mine last though Oh, really? But you're going to open... Well, I think you should open yours That's from fine. me first because okay. after this one... I don't even think I need to open it. I, I mean, really I might them. as well just <laughs> keep them right there, yeah. wrapped you just, right up. Do you up. just have the return receipt so yeah. you can take it back? Keep them for next year. No, I didn't. But keep you know what? Keep them for the next year. Maybe the, the, the standard will come down oh, slightly. Yeah. Maybe. He'll probably keep it in his garage. Gar- anyway, no. come over here. Okay, let me switch there. the cameras. I'm going to move. Oh my God, Lori, you Don't outdid yourself. Don't be a brat. Don't be a brat. You outdid yourself, Kane. You all have plenty. I stuff these in my wallet sometimes to make me look a little richer. 
Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness, what is this? It was your request and I came through. Yay. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Very nice. Okay. Your next gift is the one that's on top of, it has the little um, like anime figures. There you go. Yes, that's that very one. cute paper. Isn't that, yeah. Is it yes. bigger than a bread box? No, it's not bigger than a bread box. Oh. It's a little bit smaller than a bread box. Oh. It's heavy and, and I got that wrapping paper. Have you ever heard of this store called Dezo? Yes. It's like an Asian dollar store and they have the coolest things. No, 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 no. I wanted this because I thought it was really cool. It, it's a book series written by a general. Well, Laura Kane. And basically he says, if you want, it's a set of three books on how to be, how to live a better life. Oh. I know. Now, look, he's like totally. Sorry. Okay, the next one. I think my coding is kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> that yes that one i know i know i hope you like this because i'll say something in a minute but do you want to do you want to no no get do excited, don't get, excited. don't get too excited <laughs> now I, think I am a nerd yes i am what it, is that? It's a t coffee table book about Disneyland, his favorite place on the planet. Oh, that's cool. But the funny thing was the and other Tasha day. Tasha Evans does a great job on their books. The other day, didn't he say, who would want a coffee table book? No, actually, I do like these style of books. But um, I saw that. I was like, oh, Brian would like this because it's nice. All right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you are a big fan of coffee table I am books. a huge fan of coffee table books. Look, oh you can just go through all oh, has history and Lauren knows I am a nerd for this You do. Oh good. Well, Merry Christmas. That was You're a very, very nice gift, Laura. It was. And it was thoughtful I did think about you when um i was each of these gifts all right now i think that we should do how should we do this eric uh i'm going to need to direct you on to what to open first um same okay but i already have them like i have them all together me too so why don't i should we start, Brian, what do you think? Should we start up at the desk or should we just do it all down here? I think we should start at the desk because uh, I need to pick out what. Okay. I think you should unveil everything at the desk. And, and I think then, then you guys should both move over there. Yes. To show it to full show length. It. Yes. yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So will you hand me my bag, Sugar Lips? So I'm going first? I mean, you're, I get to open first? Yes. Um, This one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I like the wrapping paper. Oh my gosh, okay. it was so fun shopping for you this year. So oh, fun. This was a blast. Okay, here we go. So He talks your, a big game. Here's your card. Oh crap, I didn't even get you a card. Great. I know. Oh crap, now I don't it remember feels what's like The card just says F you inside. Aww. Can I read it or should I not? Yes, you can read it. Dear Laura. I'm so blessed to have you as a best friend and partner in life. I can't imagine my life without you. Merry Christmas. And I know 2024 is going to be so incredibly amazing. I love you eternally. And Barf. then look at this. He Look a little Aww, picture of us. That is the sweetest thing. Thank you. And now you're about to... And now destroy you're about you. to destroy me. That was really sweet, Eric. That meant a lot to me. Thank you. You're Thank you. welcome. I kind of forgot your card. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I was too focused on all the other things. Fantastic. Oh, my God. You have a lot. Okay. 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 So I'm going to open all yours, and then you're going to open all of mine. Is yes. that how we're doing it? Okay. So these go together. Okay. With oh, my gosh this okay 
That is a lot of stuff. That's a ton of stuff. It's wow. All of it's probably like a dollar, dollar fifty. But you know what? I can't even wait to see what you got me. Oh well, you should probably open this first because this is since you had your car cleaned. My car. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Okay, here we go. I love the elf wrapping paper. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. This is, oh, that's so nice. You're welcome. It's, it's a, a car air freshener. Is, yes. I need one of these because yeah, mine her, ran out. Her car stinks. Yeah. And guess what? It's a naked guy. <laughs> it's a naked guy. Oh, oh, Eric. Oh, no. Do you know who that is? No. Oh, God. You don't know. Who is what? That? Who no, is it? I'll, t- I'll tell you guys later. Is it Mr. T? No. I'll tell you guys if you want to mute your mics. Is it something in a... Hold on. Okay, mute, 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 mute. Okay. It smells good, Does but... It? um. A little bit more inappropriate than oh. you than you thought. I, but yeah. his Let me his double check, but I think his so. wiener is, is uh, covered with censored. I've so seen the uncensored, and it's is it impressive? Uh, it's like a fire hydrant. It smells really good. Okay, so I'm not I'm happy about that. Thanks. Okay, I needed one of those. I need one You're of welcome. those. Okay, what's next? Uh, next would be th- this. And remember, all these gifts came from the website Timu. Yes. Oh boy, something to wear. Oh yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a long sleeve little kitty cat. Yes. Shirt that I will absolutely be putting into my garage in a bag that I'll never see again eventually, but I will wear it when you want me to wear it. E- yeah. This is very um it's very cheesy. Yes. Um, but it's soft um, and kind of cute. Thank yes. you. Yes. Okay. And then this. Okay. They, they're just going to keep getting worse and worse yeah. and worse. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Are these leggings? If these are leggings. Uh-huh, they are. Oh, my God. These are heinous. Oh my God. It's got my animal wow. print in it. It's yep. got my zebra print totally in it. Totally does. Oh um, my God. I might actually look, like these. It'll look perfect with the sweater. <laughs> it will. Yep. Okay, so that's one outfit. Yep. So I have one little outfit. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now this one? Yes. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No. Uh, these. <laughs> oh. Okay, this one? Yeah. This is a cute little box. Thank you. <laughs> Doll heads. Oh, I was wondering what that was. Just. Because no, they're earrings. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my yes. god! They are. Put them on. Okay, I'm putting them on. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! I mean, look are at those. Hysterical. I mean, wow! Nothing screams. I now, mean, you are just oozing sex right now. No, seriously. <laughs> Who would? seriously buy these like for real like Eric? somebody who's just well yeah. maybe a barbie fanatic after the movie here because these are barbie heads right okay look at <laughs> oh that my god, oh these my are god. Huge. those are oh my god there we go you there's one. Oh, so wow. good yeah madonna has nothing on you in terms and of being a sex symbol they don't even symbol. match they're different little ladies yeah Look at that. One has red wow. hair and one has blonde hair. Don't wear oh those God. to the club because you'll take all the guys home. Oh, oh for yeah, sure. baby. Oh, oh, oh I got to take my other earring out. No, I don't. Wow. Right um, okay. You are just oozing sex. All right, so I already have a cute outfit with earrings. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, oh, boy. Fashion glasses. Oh, yes. What could these possibly be? Yes. It, the name is in the brand. It fashion. is. Yeah. It's totally. Oh, <laughs> I've seen these on the website. What else could they be? They're furry pink glasses. Uh-huh. They're not even sunglasses. They're glasses I can pretend like they're yes. like they're oh, prescription. For sure. Laura, did you not read the, the the title? They're fashion glasses. I mean, <laughs> look at you. Oh my God. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> wow. This, How's it going, guys? Oh my you could God. be in the Barbie movie, but you'd I, be like stupid Barbie or something. You, 
<laughs> wow, you look. You take that back. I could be. You Barbie. look. I could be that. So hot. What bar? Eric, what Barbie would she be if she was that in the Barbie messed movie? up Barbie? Remember the messed up that Kate McKinnon played? Yeah, but that like this is you messing yourself up. So like. <laughs> This would be concussion Barbie. <laughs> God, okay, okay. Concussion oh Barbie. my God. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. Good job so far. Okay, and then uh, eight more to go. Okay. Oh, this, this feels. One first. This feels like uh, clothing. Oh God, bright yellow. Yes. And it is just a. a <laughs> Brian, you should wear this. Like, oh my no, God, what have... are they doing? What are they doing? I got my own fashion and glasses. And right it goes where the, with the pants. And right where the boobs are is where the eyeballs are. <laughs> oh, so, that's yeah. kind of funny, actually. All right. Yep. All of this I will model yes. over here after. And then. you have some things to model as well, my friend. Do I? Yes. Okay, Wayne. <laughs> are these like little. Wait. What? These yep. go on the front? Yep. <laughs> right where the vag is. <laughs> Oh God! That's what I think a vag looks like. Is you're, you're, not, you're not wrong. Yeah, not far off at least. And so yeah. that goes with the yellow top. Yes, so I have two outfits. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, okay. Oh God! More another pair of. <laughs> and you have to wear both of them. No wait, this one needs its own. <laughs> Hold on, let me take these off. For I actually kind of like these. They're kind of fun. I was afraid you would. Okay, ready? I'm gonna put these on. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Concussion Barbie just. I know. I, these are got kind hit of in the head fun. Again. I can't see anything, but. Do oh, they wow. Look good? Wow. There are two hands that are like covering my eyes. They're plastic hands. Okay. All right. What's next? Uh, can you see out of those? Like, very I can barely little. barely see your eyes. Very little. I don't remember what this is. Uh oh. Well, you do know. Are you giving me like the worst one last? Yes. Okay, okay. The best right. part is he's got like eight packages here and all of them together cost like 75 cents. I know. Totally. I know. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see here. Let's is. see here. It's something small. Oh, yes. What the hell is this? This? The most disturbing things I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> okay, well, hold on. I have no idea. There are eyeballs. Then when you tilt your head, the eyes open and close. More earrings. They're like do doll eyeballs. Yeah, those are gross. They're disgusting. Oh, my God. So I can wear this with the yellow eyeball yes, top. For sure. These glasses. Yes. Gosh, you've got me accessories and clothes. I did. You're so good to me, Eric. I know. You are so good to me. I All really right. am. More? Wait. Okay. Well, I know how you like your designer sunglasses. I do. I do. Yes. So that's pair number two. Here's yes. pair number three. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> These take the cake. These take the cake if I could open them. You need to find her like condom now, earrings. Now, I'm funny. thinking, I, we're not far off. I'm thinking that these would be perfect for like the Christmas Eve service with her mom and Jenny. Well, I am going to like a Christmas Eve, like fancy dinner. Oh, this would be perfect to wear. Really? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold yeah. On. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> How does that look? Oh, that's just like a bachelor party like thing. Yeah. Can you even tell it's a wiener? It's a sparkly yeah. wiener. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was going to come down towards my nose, but it's like flips up. Yeah. Well, try putting them on the upside down. Dickhead. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, wow. Now to they're keep on. now they're blowjob glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wiener nose glasses. Wow, all these glasses. Thank I know. You. I really Well, I know how you like your sunglasses. I do. And okay, this is Okay, I'm not even going to read what it is. Another pair of sunglasses. Okay, I'm not even going to look and see what they are. I'm just going to take them out. Yep. I'm going to take these off. I'm going to take it out of the bag. Odds are they're ugly. I have no idea. I have no clue. I can't even tell by feeling them. <laughs> God. These things are packaged so like harshly. Okay, hold it. Here we go. Well, you know, they all, it, everything comes from Italy. 
Oh, okay. Those aren't. Hey, these I don't mind too they're, much. Oh, they're butterflies. God, are you kidding? No, they're tacky, but they're not ugly. They're so ugly. They're tacky for sure. Yeah, but I could definitely see a celebrity wearing those, unironically. Yes. And I would make fun of them for it, but I could see it. If a Kardashian rocked these, they would be all the rage, okay? Mm. And Laura. Yes. Tick, tick. To, okay, is this the creme de la creme? Yes. Here we go, everybody. Okay. Feels like clothing. It's soft, which is good. Oh, oh boy. it's a purse. Yes. Yep. It's a chicken purse. It's a, it's a cock purse. It's a cock purse. It- <laughs> I That's thought right, it, it'll clock. it'll you can carry around all your new goodies in it. I like it. For those it's listening to blessed. the audio only, cock as in chicken. Yes. Well, Eric, I could put all my little things oh, in my yes, bag. Yeah, her look emergency at that. fashion bag. Thank oh you my so god! So much. Oh my your god! Your booty bag. Well, guess what, Eric what? Rimmer? You're in trouble. You lost this game i don't think so i think you may have i think i may have just inched you out but let's see we'll All right, see here we go now we're gonna start with this okay this is not a joke okay oh <gasps> this is not a joke oh my god this is something you requested oh yeah, Brian, i'm so excited so, oh i'm so excited oh well so excited yes Oh, my Dollface. Special letter. request from Dollface Club. Thank you. No, he got the one with the girl. Yeah. Th- that one is my I favorite. I love it. Okay. So that one is not a joke. That I one's real. walked away with it. They're great sweatshirts and they're... Soft. They are. I love them. Okay. Thank you, Dollface Club. Now, let's start with this one. Okay. And it's wrapped in Kane's uh, chicken, I don't know what, chicken fingers uh, wrapping paper, but it's spelled wrong. You never wear, I I felt like you needed to start with some uh, basic (laughs) pair of undies. Because since you don't wear them, I thought you needed to start wearing them. And remember to show them to Instagram too and YouTube. Not the Jundies. Oh Oh my God. The back. You have best. to try those on. Those you have to try on. You show them to them too. Oh, oh my god! My got, got a pair of jundies god. now. Look, now he has some undies. Junderwear, Joxer briefs. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This one. These are a little longer in case you wanted. Oh my god! <laughs> in case you wanted, you know, to be more. Oh comfortable. my god! Warning: choking hazard. <laughs> oh <laughs> my okay. god! That's good. Now. This is important because it's the start of the new year. Uh huh. And what do we all need when we start a new year? Calendars. Right. Oh, I was right. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> okay, you gotta tell me. Oh what my god. Is. It's the Cat Balls Calendar 2024. Okay, Kane. I think you're every in the lead. every month is a different picture of cat oh balls. Oh my god. You will enjoy that every month. And you know how I like my calendars that I, I can write yeah. things on. I Laura's know off you to do. a good start. You're, you're off to a very good start, yeah. I have to say. Now, we, I th- I've noticed that um, in your place, there are some blank walls. You uh-huh. might need a, a, a little bit of art. Oh, so you know how I'm a minimalist. You are a minimalist, but yes. um, only things that really call to you. I think that <laughs> there you go. Get in, loser. We're doing butt stuff. Oh, uh, my yes. God. I That's love it. That's amazing. That's funny. You need okay. to put that like on your bathroom or something. Oh, my God. Now, I know you get stressed at, just in life. There's a lot of stressful stuff going on. Yes. Um, so you take this when you're feeling stressed and give it a good squeeze. Is it a butt plug? Oh You'll God. see. I don't even... I don't know if butt butt plugs make you less stressed out. Oh my god! (laughs) Oh my god! It's a poo! Oh my god! It's a stress reliever piece of poo. I almost got you one of these. Did you? Yeah. (laughs) 
Hey, I mean, I feel like I feel like like taking a good number two is definitely kind of a stress reliever. Yes, but this is like. Can I see that? Yes, I want to yes, feel it. yes. That is awesome. That was about the size of mine this morning. Oh, this is actually. I kind of like this actually. Isn't <laughs> it's, that nice? Okay. It's kind of actually a good gift. Now this, I read, is also very very good for relieving stress. Okay. Oh boy, this is. This is something. It's gonna be like a, a like a pile of throw up that I can't. I ball. really can't even look at it. To be honest with you, it was very difficult to look at. What is that? It comes with oh, tweezers. No. That is gross. It is the most horrible thing I've ever seen. What in my is life. that? That is okay. gross, Laura. This is Ew. a plastic ear, and in the ear are blackheads. Oh, God. And what you do is you take the tweezers and you pull out the blackheads, and then you can stick them back in again, and it's supposed to relieve stress. Oh, you should have got him the gynecological model, except it's like extracting, like, I don't know, ingrown hairs or something. <laughs> Working on it, Brian. Working Ew. on it. Ew, <laughs> that's awful. That, and oh then, like, my you god! Can put, like, so like there's like gross things you could put inside the ear too. <laughs> Ew, gross. That's but so creative, it, though. It's um oddly um calming. Okay, I have not seen this. Did you play with it? Good job. No, King. but I just saw him play with it, and I kind of wanted to play with it too. Is it squishy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. There you go. Okay. Am I doing a good job so far? Yeah, you're doing a very good job. Okay. I'm glad that you're enjoying your... See, Brian's already playing with the gross ear. This thing is so hard. Oh, my God. This is already... This already looks hideous. This is an outfit that you will be wearing, but it comes with something else. Oh, Those my. are the bottoms. I know how much you love rainbow stuff. I hate rainbow stuff. <laughs> I know. Oh my god! And I know how much you love tank tops. Ugh. You have to wear that. This is but absolutely hideous. That goes with something. Um, it's all. Oh no! Oh god! I gotta start picking at this ear. Now, <laughs> when you wear that outfit, Jesus, this is what you have to wear with it. Oh god! It's like a it's like a flag you have to wave that says like I'm the friendliest gay. And Probably. Have, and it's like tickets to a pride parade or something. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. I kind of like it, actually. My. Put it on. I know how much you love Leopard. God. Put this that is, mother on, baby. Uh, you have won. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wait, what's. I'm trying yeah. to think of an Elton John song. <laughs> oh. All right, now she's saying goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. No. Oh my God! This is absolutely. You kind of look good in it, though. You do. Hideous. It actually is not bad. You look like a. Um, oh my God! Well, a fascist, but. Now I have one thing that I think you're gonna like, and one thing that is the creme de la creme, and then we're done. Oh my God! This is so gross. I can't wait to see your guys' outfits. Laura, did you get this on Timu? Yes, I did. Yeah, I'm really impressed. This is the most expensive thing I bought on Timu. It's like a dollar fifty. Oh like, my god. Oh wow. Jeez. That is absolutely hideous. Oh my god. Now this I think you'll like. Because you love t you Oh love t my god. <laughs> Here's a really old picture of me. <laughs> wow. Oh god. my god. Okay. Now. Uh, oh my god. Eric. Yes, Laura. When we try on our outfits, this yes. is the outfit you're going to wear. Okay. You're going to wear this tank top. Okay. With the little shorts. Okay. With your hat. Okay. And what do you need with with a uh, top, bottom, and a hat? You need something for your... Waist? Feet. Uh oh. Oh, no. There you go. I know what's coming. If this is what I think it is, I'm going to puke. It's They're worse so than you could possibly imagine. I can, I can imagine pretty. I know. Oh, I, I bet I, I know. I know what these are, and they're hideous. Oh, never mind. No, it's, it's in a wrong box. Don't worry. It's not oh, okay. Adidas. I oh, like, no. I know what these bad. are. I already know what these are, and it's going to make me vomit. Oh, God. Okay, but look at this. Oh. <laughs> the 
Oh, the charms. So Look at the charms. Gross. <laughs> oh. Eric hates I Crocs. I hate Crocs. And he hates toes. Oh, so, my God. So, you know, those God. little Croc um, little buttons. Oh, so gross. Toes. Oh, my God. Those so, this are is gross. Your, oh, it's a whole outfit, Eric. Oh, Laura, these I are know, gross. I know, the big toe keeps coming off, but oh well. I'll fix it. Okay. Wow. Wow. Gross. Wow. wow. Now. Oh, my Brian, God. Brian, I'm curious to know. Here, let me move this over here first. For you. Hmm? What are your thoughts on. Oh, God. Two, this is so. Gr- one this I have to say you won. Yeah. Oh, really? Laura yeah. definitely blew this one out of the water. Yeah. You really outdid yourself. Yeah. Let me just say, I really know how to shop. Well, last time you, you lost, but this time you de- you guys are even now on bad Timu gifts. Oh, man. These are Thank absolutely you. hideous. Yeah, they really are. Okay. So now, what do we want to do? Do we want to start oh off the next show Wait, wearing? wait. No, Brian, what? We have one more thing to do. Oh, yours. Yeah. Ah! She, was oh. a, she was about to get sassy oh goodness, with me. Oh, my goodness. Wait, she was about to get rude with me. Is this for oh. us? Yeah, it's for the show. Oh, my God. She was about, she was like, she threw me eyes. I'm She's so like, sorry, Brian. No, no. I was like, are these no, toe rings? Oh, yes. God, that's so hideous. Okay, this is for both of you guys. Okay. Um. Here, I'll see that over. Oh, my God. I'm just trying to get everybody involved here. All right. Oh this God. is from Brian. For the show, uh, it looks it looks like something really nice. It looks it's a picture of some sort. Okay, I only see the back. Here's the back. Okay, it's nicely oh, framed. It's nicely framed. Nicely framed, and it is. Oh my! Oh <laughs> my God! The Ouija board. Oh my God! Oh my it's the one we God, autographed. The one we all signed. Oh, oh my God! So that is awesome. That's awesome until Hester comes back and bothers me, but that's okay. She, I'm just gonna pull a black invitation. head out. It's a silver lining. This is. I like this. I actually really think this is cool. I it's really cool. Yeah. I really think this is cool. I'm Very gonna hang nice it up job. on the back. Yeah, I got you know I got a my first signed celebrity item, so I feel like we should the show should have its first signed celebrity you item. You know. I do want to say that we are changing up our set a little bit. So come January, it's going to look a little different. This may be part of the new set. I think it should be because I do it too. means yeah. a lot. Our first piece of memorabilia. Yeah. God, this Thank is you, gross. Brian. Thank you. And what Love you your say? podcast. All right. So, oh. everybody, oh, geez. how about we end this one? And then our Thursday show, we start off wearing some of our fabulous wow. gifts. And then we'll just do like a, a fun little show to wish everybody a Merry Christmas since it's going to be on the 21st. And everything yes. Like um, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for donating. Don't forget. We're not done. We're we, we're still accepting donations to the Dollface Club like, yeah, Sober Living Home. Thing. Isn't it amazing? Oh my god, so ugly. Um, and if you win this box, you win twelve hundred dollars worth of cool stuff. And one entry is five dollars. Go to lauracaneafterdark.com and you'll see the little link on there. You can donate five dollars. You can donate. $15 or your name goes in there three times and then we'll pick a name out of another hat. And so it's good luck, you guys. Good luck. And thank you so much if you've already donated and um, happy holidays. Merry we'll see Christmas. you in a couple days and we love you so we much. We love you guys. Merry Christmas. And uh, I love that hat. On happy you. holidays. Happy holidays. Love your podcast. Thank you for my gifts. Thank you for mine. I love these earrings. These earrings. Thank you everything. for mine. Oh my God! So They're so hideous. <laughs> Terrible. This hat is—I I feel like Liberace. I, no, you are <laughs> seriously like Elton John. Yeah. Oh my God, Laura, your earrings make you look more like Heidi Klum, though. Somehow. Um, thank you. Yeah, it's a weird coincidence, but <laughs> um, I will, I'll take it. Yeah. I will take that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hey, get in, loser. We're gonna go do butt stuff. Love you guys. Love your podcast. Bye. Oh, Bye. Wait. No, you didn't say it. What? You had to say it. Say what?
You know what to say. Merry Christmas. Mm, yeah, that's good. But Happy so. holidays. That's not it. I love you. No. Thank you for my gifts. No, you already said that. Brian, thank you. Mm-hmm. Of course. What do I need to say? Let's Here. run through the checklist. I laid one of these this morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. He tells me. End it, please. He tells me every day about his pooping. That's why I had to get him one of these. Love it. And what else do you love? You. And what else do you love? Your podcast. Say it all together. I love you. No, not me. It doesn't oh. include me. Love your podcast. Ah, I love you, my sweet babies. One of them is here. And the other one comes in a few days. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll see you on Thursday. Oh my God, these are hideous.